See, I've been struggling with recording my screen lately, both for recording games and for desktop recordings, but Nvidia Experience gave me the perfect solution and there are three main reasons as why I think Nvidia Shadowplay is an excellent recording solution, especially for streamers. One of them is a very biased opinion, but it will probably apply to you too. The first reason is that I just like the simple interface and the fact that you can access the settings, etc. in an overlay on top of your game. You don't need to swap to OBS Studio or Streamlabs OBS to find the recording settings to change anything. The second and probably biased opinion is that I use it to record my OBS Studio and Streamlabs OBS tutorials. I just hit the record shortcut of GeForce Experience and I don't have to worry about OBS Studio recording itself and creating an endless loop of windows. Now the third reason is that I like to keep Streamlabs OBS and OBS Studio for streaming only. I don't like to change the settings just to record with it or make new scenes or scene collections collections to get a separate game capture or a display capture only scene and you might be on the same page with me on that. So let's take a look at what Nvidia Experience offers us in terms of recording. Welcome back everyone, I'm doing a complete rebranding for this channel and for the stream so once that's finished regular streams are coming back and you will be able to ask me anything while I'm live. I'd appreciate it if you would go to my Twitch and follow me there to help me get a successful start on this TVN Twitch channel. I will also link it in the description. Now before continuing I want to thank the sponsor of this video which is owned.tv. They are a big webshop for stream graphics and they have a lot of designs in many different themes. Once you go on their website you can browse through a bunch of options and once you find something you might like you can test out all the different elements by using their preview widget. Now paying someone to design you a personal overlay can be really expensive and if it isn't expensive then chances are that it will look very cheap and not appealing. If you're in that situation then I genuinely think buying from owned is a very good choice. You can also buy emotes and badges from them, so if that's what you need, you can also go to their website. You can even design your own custom emotes that look like yourself and then buy those. There are a lot of options on their website if you're looking for any graphics just check them out. You can also use my code TVN at checkout which will give you a 50% discount so if you're on the fence of buying an overlay or some elements for your stream you should definitely check out their website. Click on the link in my description to take a look. First things first, if your GPU is not from Nvidia or if it's from Nvidia but it's an older one and it doesn't have an NVENC chip then get out of here because you won't be able to follow this video. <laughs> just kidding. Kinda. If NVENC isn't available for you, you should go to my OBS or Streamless OBS recording videos. I will link them both in the cards and in the description. You can use those and then you can use your processor to do the encoding instead of your graphics card and that way you will be able to record. If you don't know if you have NVENC or not, you can check it by pressing Ctrl plus Shift plus Escape on your keyboard, going to performance and then checking your GPU model at the bottom after which you will have to go to this page that I will link in the description and call NVENC support matrix and right here you can search for your GPU. Don't forget you can press Ctrl plus F on your keyboard to find a specific word and then you can just search for your GPU to check if NVENC is available for you or not. If it's from Nvidia and it's a pretty good one then you will probably have it available for you. Now the reason Nvidia Experience needs the NVENC chip to record your footage is because this chip takes complete care of the recording part without affecting your GPU. So as a result of that the GPU itself can focus completely on running your game without giving up any performance to record it because the separate NVENC chip on the GPU is doing that on its own. If you haven't installed Nvidia Experience yet then search for it on Google, click the first link, click on download to well download the program, launch the installer and then just go through the setup. Once you've done that you can search for it in your program finder and then simply launch the program. After logging in you can click on this button to open the in-game overlay. This is where we have to set up everything and this is also what I was talking about in the intro. During your game you can simply press alt plus z which is a shortcut for this overlay and then just open it on top of your game. No need to minimize your game or anything like that. Now these three things in the middle are the main functions of of this program. Record allows you to, well, record your screen. But the instant replay here on the left, this is pretty interesting actually. This function will record and buffer the last few minutes of what's happening on your screen, but it will not save it unless you press the keybind that's set for it. Then it will save the clip of a certain amount of minutes, depending on what you've set up. If you're not using this, then turn this off by clicking on it 
and selecting turn off. Let me know in the comments if you're going to use this instant replay. I think it's interesting to say at the least, but I think it's something that you might plan to use but actually never do. Let me know what you think about it. By the way, if you're enjoying this video, please give it a like to help the YouTube algorithm. Liking a video actually really helps a lot. The third function is broadcasting and you can use this to stream. Now I still have to check this out and see what the possibilities are and I will probably cover it in a future video. Now even though recording with GeForce Experience is extremely easy and convenient, there are still a bunch of settings you can change so let's go over the useful ones and let me show you what the things are that you can customize. Now there are two types of settings, first of all we have a few of the recording settings right here. This slider on top lets you choose how long the buffer of the instant replay will be, but since you probably won't use this, let's just skip it and go to the next setting. Now to be honest, you can simply check high right here and everything will be alright. It will record your game in the resolution that you're playing in, it will also record in 60 fps and with a bitrate of 50 megabits per second, which is more than enough. Now all the other settings, which include a bunch of important ones, can be found right here under this cog icon. The connect tab can be skipped because this is for when you're using GeForce Experience to live stream and we're not doing that in this video, but the next option, HUD layout, this is extremely useful. Now when recording with it you only need two things. First of all the status indicator because this allows you to see if you're currently recording or not. Just select one of the corners right here to choose where it should be shown and then when you record a little icon will appear in one of the corners and this way you'll know if your screen is being recorded. Obviously this icon will not be recorded so it will not show up in your final footage. Now the second option is also very useful and this is an FPS count. Now this will make sure that you can easily keep track of the performance of your recording in case you need to change some graphic settings in your game to increase your FPS. This will also show up when you're not recording so keep that in mind, you can disable it right here or later we will set a keybind for it. Next we have the keyboard shortcuts. Now open close interface, that's the keybind that opens this GeForce experience overlay so go ahead and change it if you like, I'm just using the default shortcut. Activate push to talk will obviously only work when you're using push to talk for your recordings and you can choose the microphone recording stance on the main screen on the right. The next shortcut is to toggle your microphone and toggle FPS counter, this is extremely useful and we did already set this up right? By the way, please hit the like button it helps a lot as you already know. The next shortcut is a simple screenshot keybind, very useful, when you make one you'll get a notification on your screen, I will show you how to access the captured footage later. Photograph the scene, that's something you can use in games that have a screenshot mode. Some games have this and then this shortcut will enter that mode without you having to look for it in the settings of the game. The next three settings are things you won't need so let's just skip them. Toggle instant replay will enable or disable the instant replay mode on the main page and this will, as I explained before, enable or disable the buffering of the last few minutes depending on how long you did set up in the recording settings. The next shortcut, this is the most important one and this is the one you should press to start recording your screen. So. Take a good keybind for this. Broadcast shortcuts, we don't need these and the same thing with the custom overlays. These are keybinds you use when live streaming using GeForce Experience but not for recording. But of course, we live stream using Streamlabs OBS or OBS Studio, right? Let's go back and then to the recording settings right here. Now we already changed some recording settings in the beginning, right? But those were the capture settings that determine the quality of the footage that you're capturing. You can reach those on the main screen by clicking on record and then on settings, or right here in these settings by clicking on capture settings. Right here we are setting up the other recording settings which let us choose two file storage locations. The first one is for temporary files and on this location GeForce Experience will save the last few minutes of footage if you enable the instant replay. So to understand this completely, when you enable instant replay on the main screen, GeForce Experience will keep buffering the last few minutes of your game depending on how long you select it, but the buffering is actually saving it constantly on this temporary file location. And now once you press the save instant replay shortcut, then GeForce Experience will take that file and store it in the videos file path which is the second directory you can set up in the recording settings. If you just use a normal recording function then those recordings will also be stored in this video file path. You don't need to change anything in the next three tabs but after that we have the audio tab. Right here you can set your volume, choose your microphone, 
set that volume and then potentially boost it in case it isn't loud enough. Under that you can choose to record audio as a single track or as a double track and I highly recommend choosing two tracks because then when you import your recording in an editing program you can see one track for your PC sound and one track for your microphone. Now this will allow you to edit your clips much better and you will be able to mute your microphone or your game in certain scenarios. This is a must have. And you don't need to change anything else. After recording you can press your GeForce Experience shortcut, click on gallery and then on open file location and that will show you all your recordings. Now if you want to edit this footage your best bet will be DaVinci Resolve since that's completely free. I'm going to create some videos about that in the near future. But for now you can check my big resolve tutorial right here and know that this video is about creating a cinematic montage intro. I'm going over all the basic settings of resolve. Now let me know in the comments if you're actually going to use GeForce Experience or not. Thanks a lot for watching and I hope that I will see you in that video. But first like this one, it helps a lot. Have a nice day.